Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Stardew Valley. We have pure free time today, because we finished our key challenge extremely early, so we just kind of have to figure out what to do. Lucky for all of us, I did stud- I didn't want to do that, I wanted to see. Living off the land is probably not anything important. What's our luck? Ooh, very happy. Okay. Mmm. I think this is going to be a skull cavern day? That feels right to me. Um, not anything special skull cavern day, but just a skull cavern day. Uh, so let's see. Anything else I want to leave? Anything I want to take? Not really. Not particularly. Okay. We're gone. I like, I've probably never used this warp tota or this obelisk ever, but there you go. Deluxe retaining soil, that's not too bad. Yeah, so this will be a Skull Caverns day, yes. But also I want to put a lot of effort today in trying to, oh man. I should, I should just, I should just put it out. Like boom, there it is, we're done. Congratulations. Uh, let's get some of the items here. Because I would... Eh, staircase. I'm not going to use staircases. I want to save that for the big caboosh. Or whatever it may be. Put whatever in here. I'll have to order all these around a lot. Let's see. Uh, retaining soil can go there. I have a golden coconut somehow. That can go. Uh, so... What else I want to do is I want to try and work towards completing the museum. That took a while to come out. I'm sorry about that. But yeah, I want to try and work towards completing the museum because I have figured out everything that we've yet to get. I'm going to take that spicy eel. Thank you. Uh, you know, I might just make some ginger ales because luck affects you in the skull cavern a lot more than it does in the regular mines hello i will take coffee it's still 13 out of 14 but hey what are you gonna do hello three gin wait ginger ale takes three ginger that's illegal i guess i'll make one ginger ale because i want to save ginger for when we need it for nausea because it's just such an awful status ailment is that three? Yeah, it's three. Also, uh, before we go, I'm gonna pet my rabbit. Uh, wait for my goat. Yeah, there we go. And get milked. Do we have big milk? We do not have big milk. No big goat milk. That'll go in there. I want to say, like, with some amount of certainty that the next milk will be big milk. But who's to say? Ginger ale. Cool. That'll get us a little bit of a luck buff. I'll just use this tiny coffee that we got here. Since we won't be using it for that long, it should wear off by the time we need it. Okay, so... Uh, Pam doesn't get to the desert until 10. So in the meantime, I am going to pop open all these geodes. And, uh... I was gonna say, and pop open one Omni Geode, but no, I absolutely do want to save those as much as I can. I do have what's basically an infinite source of food here with the blackberry. Uh, let me move these things around a bit. I don't know really how much room I'm gonna need in my inventory, but this looks fine to me. I mean, I can put in the golden scythe, sure. I, I mean, mm, no, I'll, I'll put in the golden scythe. We probably won't need it. Move the master slingshot there. Actually, in front of the food. That's Gucci. And then we have the triple shot just for movement, really. Yeah, so I'm going to go over to Clint's and we're going to pop open all of these regular geodes. I'm popping open regular geodes because there are two minerals that we're missing. And these are both actually gotten through regular geodes, oddly enough. So that's number one. Nope. Uh, although I could, I guess I could buy some bombs, huh? I mean, while we're doing nothing else, I suppose. Hello. Hello. Thank you. I wish I could just buy these and not have to craft them. That would be so nice. Because it's like, it's such a cheap item to need a morel, you know? Eh. Oh, well. Just like five, three of those. Yeah. 
Yeah, I don't think I've ever had a stone cairn. If that even is how you say it, maybe sarn? Who's to say? Oh boy, hardwood fence. Yeah. I, oof. I mean, I'm just gonna wait next to Clint's until he's open. And we're gonna open up all these geodes. I do also have all of these Omni geodes because I'm trading them all in for treasure troves, which contain, actually, you know what? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. One thing we need to do is collections. I'm just going through everything, not knowing what I'm doing. Secret note number 18. This contains one of the items that we do need for the museum as well. And actually that looks like it's on the desert. So we should be able to get that. I'm also fairly certain that all of these later ones, we did this one. Uh, we did that one, did that one, did that one. Uh, I don't think we did that one actually, uh, but secret note 18, we do need to do that. I guess not explicitly need, but it's one of the very few ways to find the item that you get from that. So we'll get that while we're out on the desert. Wait, I just realized I can go in whenever I want. I have a town to the uh, key to the town. Jeez. And he is open before nine. Ah, oh, man. Silly me. Yeah. So let's process all these geodes. Really petrified slime. I have more petrified slime than I'll ever have it. Know what to do with. That looked like one of the things I needed. Darn it. It looks very similar. Hey, that's one of them. Malachite, which is usually one of the items I get really close to the beginning. I guess both of these are items I usually get. <gasps> I'm so good at this game. Say hello to the two items, the two minerals that we had left to get. Wow, that's almost stupidly lucky. Well, I am going to go donate those. Pam's not going to be at the place for a little bit longer, for another hour. Yeah, Malachite, uh, which is a stone. That is not good for you in many situations. Wait, hold on. Are some of these areas going to be just empty? Because we only have... Hold on, let me look at these. See, like minerals, full. Like completely packed now. We completed them all. Artifacts, we are missing only four three of which are gotten from the treasure troves. This one we're going to be getting soon. Uh, yeah, so maybe there's empty spaces, maybe not. I'm not sure what the deal is there, unless it wants fish. No, uh, I must be overlooking something. Huh, I mean, maybe I am, maybe I'm not, I don't know. Uh, I didn't get another reward, did I? No, okay, just wanted to make sure. Cool. Well, with that, I do need to... Oh, God bless the field's neck. I do need to empty out my inventory once again. So I'm going to go do that real quick, and then we'll head into the Skull Cavern. And there goes my husband. Goodbye. I love you. Now, if at all possible, I would like to uh, kind of cut Pam off at the pass here as she's coming through. Yeah. Speed her up just a tiny bit. I guess if you didn't know about this trick, I have showed it before, but you can stand in people's way to get uh, get them moving a little bit quicker. So now she'll get here at still at 10 a.m., but a little sooner at 10 a.m. It's a lot more impactful if you stand right in front of her house and do it there. Yeah, I think this is just going to be a full, like, straight-on commentary thing. I'm not going to look around for cactus root because it's only been one day, and I doubt we're going to get a lot out of that. However, my friend. Also, I just want to mention, if we didn't get those minerals out of the geode, you can also use Omni Geodes. They're just rarer, so I don't know why you would. Omni Geodes give you anything that a regular geode, a frozen geode, or a magma geode can give you. So it's just all, it's like less likely all around that you're going to get it. Also, I never thought about it. I might want to desert warp totem if I don't get the obelisk, if we get the key challenge for it because uh, being able to come here as soon as we wake up is going to be a huge uh, asset to us. But yeah, six artifact troves. Not likely that we're gonna get everything we need out of that. However, if I look at that note again, uh, I keep getting the letters and the notes mixed up. Left of a bench, and I believe that's right over here. Pop this bad boy open. Nope, nope, nope. Okay, you know what? Make this easier on ourselves. 
There we go, strange and all. That is one of the things we have left to donate. Gunther can tell you more about this if you donate it. I don't know why. I guess it's probably because it's like really, really old. That's the only explanation I could think of. Anyway, uh, let's get into the Skull Cavern. We don't do a lot of these runs, so I, I'd like to not speed through this, especially because you might be wondering like what his thinking is when he does certain things. So we're gonna keep it all natural. So we're gonna have the ginger ale, which will increase our luck and the spicy eel, which will increase both our luck and our speed. Such a great item. And let's get going. This area is already overrun with monsters. So one side thing that we're going to be focusing on a little bit is fighting because we do need to complete uh, our combat goals. And you know, I might just leave because this is not good. This is going to be a really long floor if we try to do that raw. So I'm just going to hop out. Hop look, <laughs> look at that already, already ahead. Oh, three. Oh, I have it set to three. I usually don't. And of course we will be getting Omni Geodes as we go through. We should be finding these rather often. Look at that. Oh no! I missed that. Ugh. That has a, I want to say 50% chance of having a Prismatic Shard in it. Are you kidding me? Ah, I'm going to fight this one. We're already on floor five and it doesn't seem to be as overrun. And I do need to fight slimes anyway, I suppose. Why are they dropping so much coal? They can drop iridium ore, so you know, it's still worth it. This is, I want to say, just for everyone's information, mostly a run to get as much iridium as we can. But, I mean, th there's many purposes for this. For the slayer goals, for honestly a few more prismatic shards wouldn't hurt. Because uh, if I could get that magic rock candy, that would be extremely helpful and i think that's really what i would use the prismatic shard on but you know there we go i am just kind of trying to go as fast as i can through these first few floors because i'd rather not spend an overabundance of time here yeah i was gonna say that's a guaranteed drop i'll grab that omni geode i know that's a diamond down there but i don't too much care let's drop down that took a lot of my HP. Oh my god, eight levels too? Okay, that's not too shabby, actually. Mummies. Oh, I do need to knock out mummies for the Slayer Goals especially. I'll get you. And then blow up with that. I'm gonna eat real quick. Man, Iridium Blackberries just give you so much HP. It's so nice. And of course, energy is really never a thing we have to worry about now that we have so many star drops. We still have one left to get, which is, you know, kind of what we're working towards here with uh, completing all of the uh, museum. Maybe I can get both of them in one go. Okay, there, and boom. Boom, boom! Jesus! Wow, okay. Like I said, I need to knock out as many of those as I can. I really don't care about earth crystals. Also, that's a bug I can't kill. I still want to figure out what they drop these dangerous bugs. Someday, someday I will equip the bug slayer uh, thing. And we will find out. Maybe. Possibly. I'll probably put it on like a useless weapon. Oh, I hate this. Uh, fun fact, I was watching a, a video where Concerned Ape, the creator of the game, well, the main developer of the game, uh, two Omni Geodes in a row, uh, answered a question where what was his biggest regret in making this game and he quite literally said it was this layout in the mines it is so awful not like really for any particular reason i think it's more mostly because you can't really choose what you want to do also this is awful luck can i just say once we run out of luck uh we are going to be struggling a bit more as well Congratulations, our second Iridium Ore. This is awful, this is awful, this is awful. How much stone do I have? 136, I could make a staircase. I should have brought like one staircase just in case. But no, I had to be dummy thick. Omni Geode. Is this one of the best ways to farm those bad boys? Yeah, I'm just skipping on through, don't mind me. Wah. Blow this up myself. Uh, sweet. 
Hello, Iridium uh, nodes. I'm gonna blow up as much as I can, just in hopes of a pit. Yeah, and a diamond, of course. Why not? This is only our second shaft, which kind of hurts. 3.30 already. I'll put that... Uh, there, there, geesh. I think I would like to have a few more uh, bombs in one of my future playthroughs. Because being able to blow up many floors at once. Hey, there's that carbonite ghost that we did see in the dangerous mines. I wasn't lying. He looks like he's just going to keep his distance. Bonk. Bonk. I'm gone. Mm, I mean, I do need to slay serpents, but hey, if you drop a staircase, I'm gone. Man, I'm gone. Ooh, hey, look at that. Bonk. Love to see it. That'll probably get us a staircase just right there. Uh, just in case. No, just wanted to see if there was a pit. Just any time I really see a cluster of rocks. I'll give it a try. Look at that. Serpents. I slay. Also for, like, spicy eel. Would not mind that at all. Also, our drink buff has ran out, so I am going to take a triple shot espresso. Because who cares? Why not? I also should probably drink something soon. All right. Okay, mummies. All right, so that's what we're doing, huh? I need to eat. Eat, eat, apples and bananas. Also, uh, wow, I was dangerously close. I took an extra hit that I didn't notice, I think. Yeah, look at the rate that that goes up. That's just absolutely silly. And we're basically good. Bonk, bonk. Now if I could get... Yeah. Also, those carbonite ghosts just do a stupid amount of damage. Yep, I'm just gonna go down. Don't mind me. Nope. I got one. Expertly shot. More, huh? Okay. These are some of the hardest one enemies to knock out, so like, I'll grab Miner's Treat, hello. I mean, not like, you know, not like killer crazy, but we take those. Jeez, that's a little unlucky. I'm not gonna get that deep today, unfortunately. Well, oh hey, prehistoric floor. If you needed your uh, ferns. Morels are prehistoric, right? Also, iridium bats. High chance of dropping a whole ass iridium bar. Also, a high chance of doing, doing just too much damage. Thank you. Hey, if you needed your fiddlehead ferns. Uh, I think it goes without saying that this is essentially a monster's overrun floor. Because you do need to knock them all out. Kind of sucks, but what are you going to do? Uh, heal, that's what you're going to do. 6.30 p.m. Now remember, I do have my farm totem, so I'm pretty much going to be staying down here until the very end of the day. Because no need to get hasty. How many Omnigeos do I have at this point? 14? Okay, so I can get another two treasure troves. Imagine accidentally going upwards. I don't even know if that's, like, possible. Holy moly! That's gotta be a, a, a hole. Oh yeah, you know it. Go three levels. Come on. Oh my lord. Uh, you know, we can go stupid dummy here. Just blow them all up. Oh yeah, prismatic shard and a ooh, a curious lure or whatever that may be called. Get rid of a lot of this. Curiosity lure. Uh. Increases your chance to catch rare fish. This can be used to get the stone fish or the ice pip if you are still missing. I mean, I'm just going to bomb this for all the gold. Why wouldn't you? Yoink. It's probably a good few thousand golds worth. Uh, or a few thousand GP worth of gold right there. Hello, Iridium node number two. Shows how deep we are. Once we hit level 50, the chance should pop up quite a bit. Hello? Hello? 
Okay, maybe I took a bit too much damage there. I was like, oh, I'll kill him in time. Let's go. 13 levels. Ooh, that's a delicious one. Mm-hmm. Good stuff. Definitely wanted to place that bomb. Watch, it's going to uncover a hole on the left there. I just don't want to risk it for the biscuit here. No, nothing. Look at that iridium up here. Ugh. I don't particularly want to kill you. Yeah, I'll just leave you be. Watch, there's going to be a staircase up in the top left, and it'll be the only one that could have spawned on the entire floor. Okay, y'all are, like, kind of on me right now. Y'all know that, right? It's a little cringe. All right, keep on moving. Ooh, that's nice. Uh, yeah, I'll pop that. Oh, I tried to kill them both before the bomb exploded because I didn't consider. Oh, I'm doing that again. Last bomb. Oh, I think an another carbonite ghost hit would uh, have done me in. Those deal like the most damage out of many, many things in this game. Get bonked. Hey, we do have stone of plenty at this point, though. Ah, hate these rock crabs. How dare you? Play me for a fool. There's not a particularly high amount of stuff here. Iridium bat. Apparently these things change color once you hit- Oh, battery. Not gonna miss that. Those things change color once you hit, like, floor 150. Hold on. Before I jump in the shaft and uh, put myself in one-shot range, maybe I should eat a little. We still have five hours to work with here, so... I mean, we very well could get to floor 100 again. Unfortunately, this is not update 1. or 5.1, where there's been um, a treasure chest added to that floor. Oh, I mean, I want the iridium, though. Yoink. How much is that so far? 28. That's actually a lot better than I thought we were doing. Yoink. Six levels. Not too shabby. Now, unfortunately, we don't have any more... Yeah, I was just going to check for a hole real quick. We don't have any more bombs, so our progress is probably going to stall just a little bit because of that. There's def there's not any more chances for just blowing open 20 rocks at a time and almost having a guaranteed hole out of it. And we as people love guaranteed holes. Not skipping any iridium. Golly. Okay, well, that's a guaranteed miner's treat, and I'll tell you what, that'll get us to floor 100 faster than you can say yippee ki -yay. I don't... I don't know why I said that. Because I've definitely never said those words in that order before. Yet, here we are. Yeah, I'll blow some stuff up. Oh, those are actually some really well-placed shots, if I do say so myself. Get crit. Absolutely critted. Okay, Iridium node. Funk. Funk. Come on. Bro. Hate you. Iridium bats are essentially Iridium nodes, if I'm completely honest. Hello. Uh, I could probably hit those, too. Oh, yeah, that worked. Sucks that the uh, explosive ammo can only really be used against walls. But... Hey, it's the price you pay. 1040, floor 75. If I had uh, loaded up on bombs a little bit more, I think this could have been easy. Floor 100 day. Also, the fact that we are also luckless at the moment and seem to still be doing pretty well for ourselves. Love knocking out those serpents. It's just so satisfying being like max level. And having really good ring. Well, I wouldn't, you know, I wouldn't even say my rings are really good. They're decent. They're decent. Because if you have an Iridium Band, yeah, you're doing all right for yourself. But, uh, like, luck rings, which I haven't really gone for before. Which, you know, we could dedicate a day for trying to get a luck ring. Basically, the strat for that is you need to pan as much as you can. And that includes panning in the digging area. Magma shield, yeah, right. Yeah, right. Uh, and the one reason you want to pan in the 
digging area on Ginger Island is because it has just a ridiculous rate of panning spots. Oh, there's a hole there. I'm going to take that in a second. Yeah, I know it's midnight, but we have just so much to do. That's a third prismatic shard. As you get deeper, prismatic shards are more common, by the way. Don't know if I said that. That's along with like Iridium Beacon. Oh, God, we're in like the Holy Land right now. Uh, Along with Iridium being more common, those as well get more common. Uh, I can't hit that. Oh, you can direct hit mummies. Good thing I tried, because I was like, oh, I can't do that, and then I did it. Just like that. Okay, that hit a lot less than I thought it was going to hit. I'm definitely staying max time here, because, I mean, that's just going to get us what we want. I would like to get just, like, maybe a few more floors in where I can get, like, a decent amount of iridium, because not having to come back here for a while to craft obelisks would be... Ideal. I'd also like to make a lot more... Oh, golly. Oh, golly gee. Yeah, you can see our luck has run out, can't you? Yeah, but we can trade for a rock candy now, so... Next run will be just absolutely buck wild. Okay, that's why. Yeah, staircases don't spawn if there's already one on the floor. Sheesh. That was incredibly unlucky. I mean, I guess it was lucky in a way, but not in the way I wanted. Uh, I'm going to take this Iridium and maybe call that good, unless we just get something right here. Yeah. And that's why we don't call it. Bonk, and I'm gone. 1.40 a.m. I'm not passing out. If I pass out in my house, we're good. Oh, hello. My inventory's full. I want to take that now. Also, we got 500 stone from that one trip. I don't need that. Yoink, 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 yoink. Uh, oof. Yeah, we should just get in the house. If we pass out in the house, we're good. Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, cut that just perfectly. Hey, we completed the ostrich egg, though. So, hey, we got that. I wonder if my pumpkins are ready yet. I'd like to make my, that jack-o'-lantern. Hello! As you can see, we incurred no gold penalty. I'm going to take a walk today. I need some time to myself. See you in the evening. Uh, buddy, you didn't get enough yesterday? I was gone. I was out of here. It's going to rain all day tomorrow. Uh, not thunderstorm though, huh? Decent luck. I mean, yeah, now basically any day is going to be crazy buck white. Uh, one of the battery packs? My TV remote died. For Pam, huh? I mean, I do, and I just so happen to have an extra one, so... Oh, I need to clear out my inventory real quick. Okay, well, I think I'm going to go back to the desert, if only to trade in more Omni Geodes for treasure troves, and maybe we can get everything done? That's hopeful thinking, but it's my hopeful thinking. 33 Jades on it, in addition to the 13 whatevers. Also, the Curiosity Lure is so cool. Like, I'm so glad we got that. I can show that off. I don't know where exactly would be the best place to use it. Uh, because we've caught all the fish, so that's not really too big of a deal. I guess we can see if it's a cranberry day. Let's get rid of a few things. Crab cakes. Uh, one other thing I... Oh, we had cherry bombs that whole time that I didn't... Just didn't use outright. Uh, I guess we could, um... Congratulations, I have completely forgotten what I was going to say. We can't milk you, can we? Nah, not two days in a row. Two milks in a row? Now let's see if we have cranberries. Because if we could complete the crop order today, that'd also be cool. Yeah! Cool. So, you do indeed count the cranberries that you get from Junimo harvests. Apparently, if you just kind of like... Ugh. Yeah, you can hear it just completed, so. Yep, harvest 100 cranberries, ship 100 cranberries, and baby, that I can do. And they'll grab the rest of it throughout the day. I'd like to put in a uh, a gem for them to kind of become one color. I'd like to maybe change out the gem every season so that they have like a themed color. That'd just be neat. 
Anyway, just send all the cranberries to the war. And ladies and gentlemen, oh, it's gonna complete tonight. Okay, never mind. Uh, today wasn't the last day. No, we had like a whole month for that. We did that wildly quick. Goat cheese. That's it there. I mean, I do have a bunch of prismatic shards. That's wild. That's just so many prismatic shards. Uh, you know what? We should probably get working on all of this iridium ore. That's what I think. Because if we get just a few more, really, of anything, uh, we'll be able to go stupid. How long does it take for those cacti to grow? Okay, a little bit of time. Also, our pumpkins are in fact ready, as well as the rhubarb. I want to say the rhubarb was one of the things we needed to deposit. Oh, maybe not. Maybe that was for cooking. Okay. Radish, beet, basically the same thing as a rhubarb. Wait, I don't see rhubarb here. It should be in the fall area. Uh, let me see that sprite. Big old boy. Oh, that's that. Oh, I do need to ship it. Okay. We will ship it. Neat. Always grab the coffee. It's also, also it's so like quiet and serene in here. Corn, blueberry, tomatoes, as you do. That's it. We're gone. Okay. Well, I need to remember what I was supposed to use all these pumpkins for. I know one's for a jack-o'-lantern, so we'll go ahead and make one of those. Uh, oh boy. I'm assuming the rest are for cooking. Jack-o'-lanterns, yeah. Right there. Pumpkin and a torch. Bada boom, bada bing. We did it. Crazy. Uh, does that complete this entire screen? No, it doesn't, because we're not going to complete the island totem. I think that's it, though. Yep, island totem, just ginger and dragon tooth which I guess we can use whenever we want. E yes, sir. That would complete that whole screen. And that would leave us just with... Now oh, we can make a solar panel. Uh, yeah. Get it out of the way. We need to make a farm computer and 10 refined quartz. Sheesh. Uh, that would complete that screen as well. I believe we have... Yeah, we're going to need the tulip bulb for this screen. And we're gonna need to plant a lot of garlic, so both of those are going to be whenever we get the uh, expanded stock list for Pierre, and I th think that does it, right? That That's it for crafted items. Which, you know, now that we're coming at this point, I need to look up if I'm missing any craft craft craftable items. Because I don't believe I am. I believe this is the complete... Li well, other than the ones we've yet to unlock from the key gems. But that's obvious. Uh, rhubarb, get donated. Don't need any of these, as far as I know. I'm just going to get... I mean, uh, yeah, I'm just going to get rid of it. I can make another one if I please. And then the rest of the pumpkins, pump pump pie, go in there. Yee. And am I able to use those pumpkins currently? Yes, for an autumn's bounty. That is it, ladies and gentlemen. Oof. I do be missing uh, a lot of recipes. I know a lot of them unlock in winter, which is really unfortunate, to be honest. I mean, I'm not missing a ton of recipes, right? Yeah, I've cooked most everything. Cauliflower and potatoes is another one we're going to need. Blue jazz I need to uh, plant. And see cucumber. I, I really need to look up if I can do that. Oh, yeah, the wheat. Can I, can I just buy wheat flour? I should check that because I need like a lot of wheat flour. Let's go take a dipski, actually, before we do that. 
Goodbye, Autumn's Bounty. Actually, it would be good for the foraging stat. Goodbye, Autumn's Bounty. I don't think I'm going to care about it in the future. All those go in there. And we do have a solar panel. Uh, who cares? Slap it down, like, over here where it's just going to be completely out of the way. I can put it here, right? Yeah. So that's going to slowly over, I believe, seven days, maybe longer. It's going to slowly create one battery. And a lot of people swear by the fact that it sucks. But as we saw, it took a really long time for me to get a good amount of batteries. So the sooner you can unlock it, really the better. So I would not recommend ignoring it. So yeah, we're going to check and see if he sells wheat flour because we need that for like five cooking items. So we're going to go to the desert. Three largemouth bass. That's not happening, buddy. It's just uh, not in the cards. Hello. Uh, I do need more yam seeds because I believe I need to donate one. Oh, I can just buy wheat right now. Really? Oh, I do need sunflower seeds. I don't actually, I think I planted them maybe already. Who's to say? Oh yeah, you could just buy wheat flour. I mean, that's such like, that is a pretty wallpaper. That, that could be cool. That could be really cool at some point. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to outright buy the wheat flour. Who cares? I'll uh, get 20 just to be safe. 21 because I'm stupid. All right. Don't eat the wheat. Hold on. What are the stats on the wheat flour? Plus 13 energy and plus 5 health. I heartily disagree with that. All right. Uh, slap in some wheat flour. Look at how empty this is now that we've used a lot of these items. And that really, that makes a lot of things possible that I believe we've been waiting for. Can't make pancakes. I could have made pancakes just any time I felt like it for the plus two foraging. All I needed to do was buy wheat flour. I, I don't know why I thought I couldn't make, I couldn't get it. What? I've been able to make that? I guess I just thought it was omelet or something. Yeah, so that's done. Uh, should be something here, I think. Squid ink, I've already... It's weird that I can make squid ink ravioli. That's always felt like one of the uh, rarer things. And a blackberry cobbler. Hey. Sweet. That's two more cooking items done with. Oh. Yeah, I need to put cranberries in here. I guess I've been forgetting to do that, huh? Oops. Well, I mean, we're obviously going to get more of those. I'm going to really quickly plant these yams and and the sunflower seed because I don't recall uh, years ago if I had planted those. Listen, I took like a pretty long break from playing the game because Pokemon came out, so don't judge me. Any of these could be sunflowers and I don't know. So first of all, three yams uh, because I don't trust myself with just one and a sunflower. Like, are we wait This one's still growing and I don't know what that is. That's like it. We have the cactus fruit growing, of course, for the uh, for the obelisk. Uh, speaking of which, I feel like our wines should be coming up to close. Seven days feels like it's closing in. Anyway, uh, before we miss our chance, I'm going to go to the desert. I'm going to trade for some more ancient tr or no, uh, treasure troves. And then we're going to break them open. And if we get really lucky, complete the museum bundle. Or not the bundles. I, I'm so used to that. Complete the museum. All right. Uh, I think I've only... I haven't... He's at the island. I don't remember if you can break these open with the geode crusher. Because I'm going to be honest, I would do it. Uh, let's, let's find out. I believe... No. I want to say it's only the golden coconuts. His shadow blends in with the street, so it looks like he's floating. I want to say it's only the golden coconuts that you can't geode crush, but I'm not 100% sure about that. Now, oh, kitty. Does that take time to do this? How does this work? 
I'm so confused. Geode crypt, maybe it's just in a bad position. I'll put it like here. Yeah, I think that's a guarantee it doesn't work. Ah, oh, come on. I, more so than any playthrough I've ever done before, I find myself resenting the island being opened up to everyone. It's unfortunate, but it's how it is. I guess I can pop open. I mean, I want my coal though, dude. Uh, we don't have any fire quartz. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I'm stinky. You know what I want to make a few more of? I'd like to make a few more, uh... Oh, I need fire quartz for the slime egg press. I can't win. You can't win ever. I was going to make a few more slime egg presses because we have a lot of slime to press. As it were. So, I was, you know, I was just thinking out loud. All right, then... I mean, one thing we definitely need to, like, start kind of focusing on is going to the island kind of often because we don't want to miss out on, uh, we have a lot more cranberries here that I can put in the fridge. We don't want to miss out on the golden walnuts being completed, which is almost exclusively finding all the skeletons or all the pieces of the skeleton. So... Another thing to consider, I'm just going to place like a few of the cranberries, maybe 20. That should unlock something. Couldn't tell you what, but it should. Actually, two things. Cranberry sauce plus two mining. Please. Thank you. And cranberry candy, which gives you nothing, but it's actually a lot of energy. Sugar crash, I'd assume. Uh, neat. We've completed like, what? Is that four cooking recipes so far today? That's it? That's all we've done? I mean, we got a lot more money. Which is never a loss. Uh, I'll just keep the strange doll in my inventory. Who cares? Until we can properly put it back. Hmm. Hmm. I mean, at this point, we really do just be waiting on things, huh? What else do we have yet to complete? Like, yeah, there's these last few things the row i mean i could try to like get a another fish actually you know what i want to do let's make another y'all are going to be in the way aren't you let's make another shed we have we should have enough time to get up there i want to check and see what we need before going uh robin we're going to start work on the aquarium that I want to make. Uh, building upgrade costs. Show me that shed. It's just 300 wood? Yeah, actually, you know what? That's actually the one resource I big don't have. Let me check. 148. Well, luckily for us, we can get that pretty dang quickly. Uh, will it be quick enough, though, before she closes? I want to say at 5. Not if I miss all my shots. I mean, I guess one thing I could do is try to clear the desert of all of its trees, which would take us a little bit, but would probably be worth it. Because mm, we already did have a very... What does that put us at? 268? Actually, I might just be able to do this. So I'll cut down a few more trees, and I will rush so hard. Uh, yeah, she closes at 5. And I believe 300 wood, we just got enough. So I'm going to rush and hopefully build us another shed. Oh, you tempt me. So our wine's ready, huh? And our iridium bars are ready so we can get those, the rest of those cooking as well. Yeah, so we're officially able to make any obelisks that we want. I mean, we can't make some of the more expensive ones yet, but... I wanted to make an island or a mountains obelisk it'd be there oh god we're gonna cut this really close she's gone i i'm i'm not surprised just disappointed all right well it's friday uh we can check out the traveling cart i suppose my boy's not even here man 
I still need to get Max Affinity with him. Like, I don't want us to forget about that, but... It's been freeing to not have to worry about it constantly. Yes, I know Pam needs juice. It's been really nice not having to worry about giving gifts at all and just focusing on being productive because it's just, you know, three-fourths of our game was spent just constantly getting loved gifts and all that. Uh, well, huh. Yeah, I guess I'll just put the rest of these in. Get our wine. And I don't... Oh, yeah, hold on. Let's check the traveling cart real quick. I don't think she closes until... Eight? I hope it's not six. I guess we're about to find out. Yeah, she's still open. Also, the bunny just ran right over her traveling cart. Oh, you're kidding. That's actually a really good deal for us. Fairy Rose doesn't hurt. Blue Jazz, we need some of that, don't we? I'm actually... Uh, I'll buy you out. It's only a thousand. The Iridium Bars for four thousand each. Like, that, that's child's play to us. That's like a day's worth of work. I'm gonna buy the five Iridium Bars. It, you know, one thing that I'm starting to appreciate a lot about the traveling cart, yes, it's like almost offensively expensive to start, but now that we have like all the money, like we have this amount of money, which is not a lot in the grand scheme of things, but in terms of the traveling cart, we can kind of just go silly stinky with it and buy whatever we want. And I hugely appreciate having that opportunity. It makes a lot more things that you wouldn't expect to be worth it, be worth it, so. Yeah, oh, I'm gonna grab my star fruit. Oh my Lord. Actually, I might be able to fill that up with kegs right now since I do have wood. Uh, I can make two. I have two iron bars, little did I know. Fine, that's, that's fine. We have more than enough star fruit to fill it up. Huh. Remember when I said we have more than enough star fruit to fill it up? Barely. <laughs> really barely. I'll take a maple syrup. What's what's it gonna hurt? What's what's the damage? I suppose I'll also check to make sure we don't have a rabbit's foot. No such luck. Just a copious amount of eggs. I really hope the next key challenge is just cooking. Because... I mean, I'd also wish that it's the Skull Cavern one, because now that we have access to... Hmm, do I want to keep the wine? Or I mean, I have no reason to sell it right now, to be fair. Other than I literally just want to see the big stupid numbers. I'm not going to worry about this right now. Actually, you know what? Can I make more of those kegs at the moment? I forget what that takes. Or the casks, yeah. Just wooden hardwood. Yeah, I'm gonna fill it up. I think all 13 ought to work here. I know I'm not gonna go to Ginger Island today. It sucks, but oh well. Because these ought to be done sometime in the future. Vague. Uh, I can also fill you there and you there. I know this isn't an ideal out like layout. Actually, I can fit two more here and there. Can't go there. That's it for us right here. Yeah. This boy is fully cast up. Ca cast? Casked up. So I, I will keep this wine because I think that wine may finish up soon. And there's no reason for us to sell before we need to because we already have all the money we could ever use. So that's where we are. Oh, I have that. Oh, how long have I had this tropical curry? Also, I've had this fish stew that's plus three. I've forgotten about all of this uh, good good. Cask can go in there. Because I could have extra preserve jars just sitting around. I had these sunflower seeds and I didn't even know it, which isn't a big deal. Hey, pine tar. Actually, you know what? That can go over here. Thank you. I don't know why that star fruit's in there. It needs to go in here. Uh, blue jazz. I believe I needed a few in here. Yeah, because it wasn't for a crafting recipe. Don't recall. Yeah, that's for the lucky lunch. So that just leaves us with the tortilla, which... <laughs> there you go. And a sea cucumber, which I want to... Uh, oh, oh, wait. Yoink. Hey, we, we still needed to donate kale. 
Now we don't. <laughs> cool. Didn't know about... Yeah, that's right there, baby. I don't remember what that is. That's just an orb. Just an orb. That... Okay, so we've now completed these two. Which has lowered the amount a bit. Uh, we're still working on the... Yeah. Things are getting a little bit closer now. That's nice. I like that. Also, yeah, that was the ostrich egg. I don't know for the life of me why it's right here. But it is. This always... The shape reminds me of Hoopa. The Pokemon. Every single time I look at it, I'm like, oh yeah, you know, Pokemon. It's weird. Just a little bit. 16 Iridium Bars. That's still, believe it or not, not close to how much we need for other things, but... Yeah, the obelisks are going to take up a lot of that. I think I'll just call it there for the day. Don't feel like I have too much more to do. Empty out my inventory a little bit more, because I don't. It's not that important. Oh, boy. That's a lot of stone, I'll tell you what. Put the Omni Geode in there. I think uh, one of these upcoming days, I'll literally just annihilate that entire desert. Get as much wood as we possibly can, and that'll... Probably set us for life, if I were to take a guess. Uh, I'll try to get that shed going tomorrow as well. Yeah, I'm just talking about tomorrow's plans. You'll find those, those out in the next episode, yeah? See you all then. Thank you for watching. And hello, my husband. I did not talk to you. Good night.